Hey, what's up, fellas? This is a quick little video to kind of run down why I go through so much trouble when I braze or solder anything. Like, why would I take the time to build a machine like that to just do simple operation like solder and braze? Well, it's all about the acetone copper reaction. This is just going to be a short little video kind of featuring the benefits of using gas modification with oxyhydrogen gas. I'm basically using oxyhydrogen gas and mixing it with acetone. Here's a quick little demonstration of it. You can see here, this guy just stuck a piece of copper into a container full of acetone. And as you can see, the copper is reacting. There's no flame, but yet even there's those even though there's no flame we are watching a copper wire boil red hot that's just acetone gas doing that so the acetone gas alone will react with hot copper and cause it to get very hot i think it's producing formaldehyde i can't remember but nonetheless that's uh pretty much the gist of it. I want to thank Brian Dofing for bringing this experiment to YouTube for us to check out because it um, definitely made my life easy. So thanks a lot Brian. Essentially what happens with the acetone gas is anytime you're blasting a flame at an object that you want to heat at the interface of that object the gases are not burning. They're just kind of actually cooling the area down a little bit, believe it or not. Not like cold cooling, but things would get so much hotter if we did it a different way. Okay, so the rig ended up just turning into an elaborate monster here. It's going to be like $45 in parts to protect a $30 pump. So... Pretty interesting. I gotta do it right, so hopefully this time we don't get any pump failures. This particular setup here has a pressure relief valve set at 150 psi. It's also going to have an air cavity that's going to absorb any pressure spikes that may rupture the diaphragm in their absence. So. Hopefully that'll work out. We're also gonna have a pressure gauge on here just to kind of get an idea of what's going on. That's probably gonna end up having to be on everything. Not having a pressure gauge is a bad deal, but uh, I was hoping to get away with it and I did not. Usually when I solder this stuff, I uh, have a sequence I like to do. Dropping it is certainly not a part of that sequence. Seems like it held out okay. Man. What the hell is going on there? I like to do the gravity deal where I'm using gravity to give me a decent joint. I'll never do my bottoms as I'm doing the tops. The solder just runs all over the place. This is a acetone infused oxyhydrogen flame that I'm using. It's an oxyhydrogen torch. And this particular gas formula makes an amazing soldering and brazing gas. First of all, acetone gas in itself reacts with hot copper causing an exothermic reaction to release heat. So any of the acetone that isn't being burned at the interface layer of the work is being used to actually undergo a catalytic reaction. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, I think uh, this side now. 
So that's one of the reasons it makes such a, such a superb soldering gas. Definitely a very forgiving gas as well. It's not the type of flame that you can easily scorch an area that will no longer receive your brazing or soldering alloy, which is great. Okay, this one here, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do a side joint. These here seem to flow okay. It's just too much spinning on this one. Kind of hard to do, but you don't want to get it too hot. That's another thing I like about this torch is you can really control the heat with this thing. You can get it right on the verge of melting the solder without overdoing it. This is pretty nice. Yeah, I definitely overheated that area by quite a bit. Not too worried about it though. We're going to stop that there and connect it up to the unit. For any of you who haven't seen this thing yet, this monstrosity, this is what I'm using to produce that gas. This is a very powerful electrolysis cell. I then pumped that gas through the acetone infuser. And even though there wasn't any copper on this particular run, it's still a very compatible gas with brasses. But when you're heating copper, man, is it amazing. You ought to check it out sometimes. If you look up acetone copper reaction, you'll know what I'm talking about. It'll give you a whole new perspective on what I'm doing here. A lot of people may not get why I do this, but you know what? Go ahead and leave this video right now and look that up um, and check it out. Acetone copper reaction definitely pretty cool